Welcome to the Red Cardinal Kitchen. I'm Sonia, and I am thrilled to share this unique culinary journey with you. Our kitchen is a hub of pride and joy where creativity and unforgettable recipes come together and a serene atmosphere that will make you want to stay forever. Christopher is our incredible skilled producer and editor, dedicated to bringing expertise, creativity for detail, and a passion for telling stories through video editing that brings our tutorial projects to life. His experience in editing extends beyond just visual content. He combines all the pieces effectively to create a cohesive and engaging final product seamlessly. Our little Eggie has the ability to help us take regular and meaningful mental breaks to reduce our stress and tension while we work, making our productivity more conducive. Whether you're a seasoned or a novice cook, our team promises that you'll find something here that will ignite your passion for food and cooking. So, come on in and get ready to embark on an exciting culinary adventure with me. Today, I am excited to share our sweet, crispy, fluffy, soft waffle recipe. But first, let me share some history of these sweet treats. Did you know waffles have been a breakfast staple for centuries, originating back to the Middle Ages in Europe? The word waffle comes from the Dutch word baffle, which means honeycomb or wafer. Waffles were initially made from dough cooked between two iron plates. But over time, the dough was replaced with batter, which is how modern day waffles are made. To the present, waffles are enjoyed worldwide and come in many varieties. They can be sweet or savory, crispy or fluffy soft, and served with various toppings. To make this delicious step-by-step -step waffle recipe in this tutorial, check below this video in the description area. Also, along with the nutrition facts for your recipe, we have added a breakdown of the ingredients to show the calories for each element listed in our recipe. Now, before we start with instructions, let's do some pre-preparation. Here we have a hot waffle iron. It has a red and a green light. I will wait for the red light to turn green before I add the batter, about one quarter cup rounded. If yours has a setting, set it at medium high temperature. Also, if you have a giant waffle iron, add no more than one cup of batter for each side. I have my tools. And the first thing I want to do, I think, <laughs> is I am going to switch sides here. Now this is flour and I have sifted it. Now I want to spoon sift it. I'll put the side and then I'll put it back in the middle for a second right now. Okay, here's one cup of sifted flour. This is all purpose, unbleached. And you can use whichever you like. I'll just go ahead and use this. And the reason why I spoon measure it after I sift is because sometimes you might just get a little bit more flour and then you'll notice you need to add more liquid. So, let's do this one more time and see what we come up with. Maybe it will be a little bit left here, probably. And again, I'm <laughs> like to get flour everywhere. Almost close. So let's go ahead and just kind of mash it around. Very careful. 
carefully to like stomp on it. <laughs> okay, and here's my second cup. And so we have approximately about a rounded tablespoon of flour left. All right, so now I'm sure that my flour is correct. That there. All right. So to the flour. Now this is my dry my dry ingredients, and I will add. This is three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Now I use kosher, but you can use regular table salt. And this is four teaspoons of baking powder, which is similar to a Belgian waffle. And I have one teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda. I'm sorry, got them mixed up. And then I have one teaspoon of cinnamon. to the side. Now here we have another larger bowl and we are going to add our wet ingredients in this one. So the first thing I want to do is add one half cup of eggs. Mine is three medium eggs. You can measure your large eggs. You might even have a duck egg but one half cup. Water. All right, and we want to whisk those eggs first before adding milk. And sometimes I forget. <laughs> and if you do, just be very carefully to mix the eggs with the milk so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Okay, that should be enough. And I didn't take out the glazies because, you know, we're going to whip it really good. So. Uh, if you don't like them in there, you can spoon them out. I use a plastic spoon. It's in one of my short tutorials. I'll have to put the link in there. All right, let's see what we have in here. Oops. Now, to that, let's put in some sugar. Now, I'm using sucralose, but you can use regular white. I suppose you could use brown. Okay, and then I'm going to put in three quarters cup of, this is Greek yogurt, any brand, or something thick maybe, it's, uh, I don't know, if you use sour cream, I would uh, maybe use a quarter cup, it's pretty strong. So it's just Greek yogurt. And then we're going to add... Now this is mapleine. Mapleine is an imitation maple, and uh, it is uh, six percent alcohol. If you use uh, maple extract, it is twelve percent alcohol. I've got other recipes that I want to make with mapleine, so I'm introducing the first one right here. Okay, now that liquidy, you can see what it looks like just by putting in the eggs, the sugar, the mapleine, and the Greek yogurt. Now, we're going to add a little bit of milk, and I'm going to use now this is one uh, cup plus one quarter cup, so I'm not going to add the whole thing in the beginning. I'm just going to add 
half of it because I'm not sure just where it's going to end up. We're caught between uh, warm air and moist air. So, see, but okay, so now we can just start adding some flour, and you don't have to set the, for the pancakes, but if this was a cake, I would recommend it. So let's just put in some of it right now, and I'll mix it with my mix, my little, this is a little meringue, I think, beet or whatever on my mixer. <laughs> I just use it with my hand. It's small, I like it, it feels comfortable in my hand. I have a large one, you've seen me use it before. Okay, now, so I want to show you what it looks like with just half the milk and half, and that's still too runny. That would be make a good pancake, but for waffles, we're gonna make them just a little bit thicker. And I still have some ingredients to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my flour in there. And then we'll see. Okay, that's getting too thick. Now we're making a cake. <laughs> so, good. I always have to do that all over. Just ignore my mess. <laughs> all right, so let's put in just a little bit more. So just judge. So you want a, a thick uh, batter, but pour them. Now, before I add any more milk, I want to put in three tablespoons of extra light olive oil. And the reason why I'm using olive oil is because I want a moist cake on the inside. If I should use anything that will harden up like a butter or shortening or lard, and uh, then you run the risk of having a very tough product. So oil will help that. And so will Greek yogurt or buttermilk. And so I've got these in. I'm getting quite a few of these over there. All right, so it's still too thick. It's still too thick, you can see it walk. Okay, we want it a little loosened up. So let's go ahead. We can add the rest of it. And as you cook, you just kind of know after a while what's going to work and what's not going to work. Now, you can make uh, pancakes out of waffles but you cannot make waffles out of pancake batter. But if you have pancake batter, instant, prepared, whatever, or make it homemade, all you have to do is separate the yolks from the whites and go ahead and mix your whites as if you were making meringue. And when, after you get just about right at this point you would take have everything in there mixed up like I just have and then you would just put the meringue in there and cut through it just you know slice right through it and that will help uh, and then again use oil uh, yeah use oil instead of butter That I've learned, but you know, when I'm doing it, I just do it. But this is all new to me and talking about it, and so I have to think am I saying this right? I don't want to lead anybody down the wrong path. That's why we have a recipe as well. All right, so all this I'm just going to go ahead and put over there. And I'm going to clean up my mess and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is completely mixed and it's not, it's just a nice thick stream. 
And so that's it on making the batter. Now we'll move over here. I'll take my pot holder and I'm gonna lift up my hot iron. And this is a Belgium iron. And I'm just gonna take, this is just lard, but you can use vegetable spray. Um, to be honest, I won't use vegetable spray on any of my nonstick products because it has a coating in there and you'll have to look it up because I, I don't want to say uh, I might misinform someone but there is a coating in it so that it will start gumming up your um, grills or anything that has this nonstick surface so I, I use lard it won't be that lard. so that was just a little quick tip for the day <laughs> All right, so here's my quarter cup rounded, it would be. We'll see. A little bit more, maybe. And then just kind of move it a little bit to the edges. Or you can keep it like that and make them kind of rounded. I just actually just kind of smooth it down and let it form itself. And then just put it down and it's going to take about three or four minutes. So let's go ahead and we'll lift the lid and everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. And there you have your nice crispy waffles and they should be nice and tender on the inside. So I just made a double. Close the lid and I will unplug my machine. All right, now we're safe there. Mm. The aroma of maple fills the air and I can hardly wait to take this bite. So I am using honey butter and I'll just put some in the corner here. Yes, it'll come off here. It's so stiff. <laughs> there we go. Mmm, very nice. And let's take that bite. Mmm. Oh, this is a big bite. Better cut it down. <laughs> All right. My clean hands are clean. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hear that crisp? Not sure if you can hear it crispy. It's crispy in my ears. Mm. Yes. The outside of this waffle to me is perfectly crisp with the inside soft. Well, thank you for watching and visiting. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history of waffles and hopefully you will want to try out our sweet, crisp, and fluffy, soft waffle recipe. If you enjoyed our video tutorial and want us to continue uploading, please like, share with your family and friends, comments, help us to learn more about sharing more ideas and let us know how well we are doing and what you are thinking. If you would like, subscribe to our channel and remember to click on the all tab for notifications. We would not want you to miss out. So we hope to see you next time. Join us right here at the Red Cardinal Kitchen for more delicious recipes and fascinating culinary history that our precious Christopher, our producer, uploads every two weeks. Also, remember to check out our website at redcardinalkitchen.com. For every step of the way, we say happy eating. God bless you all. And we'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye for now.